the UK is currently having a heat wave and obviously I'm not happy about it. So if you can hear like a little bit of background noise, it's because I've got my fan on and I've got it literally sat right here because I cannot function without it right now. <laughs> Hello there, Renee of Nerd Tori here. How are we? I hope you're all doing well. So happy 1st of July. I can't believe it is July already where is this year going but that does mean the second installment of my new monthly series where i share with you four of my favorite winnie the pooh items that i have been loving past month so this is june edition i started this last month for may and you guys did seem to really enjoy it and i just thought it would be a cute way just to share items with you that i haven't been able to share throughout the month or just highlight some more things that i've absolutely been loving and just give them another moment to shine. So I like to do everything in fours because four is my lucky number. So we have got another four things to show you this month. Three of them you have already seen in their various unboxings and one of them you have never seen before because my parents picked it up for me on holiday. Although three of these items you have already seen, I just wanted to give them an extra moment to shine because I've absolutely loved them. So I think without further ado, let's get on with the video i think we'll first start off with the item you haven't seen because as i just said my parents picked it up for me when they were on holiday they went away to france for the week and they popped into like various shops like primark and other things like that and i can't remember if they said they got this from a primark or a different shop i can't remember but i have never had this in my collection and i'm i'm very excited about it a winnie the Pooh hairbrush are you kidding me so it's this really cute pastel blue like paddle brush and then it's got like a little plastic detail of poo on it and i really love what he it looks like he's holding his stomach and having a good old laugh that is so cute primark did do a winnie the pooh hairbrush like a couple of years ago as you know my luck in finding things in primark i never was able to find it so I finally have a Winnie the Pooh hairbrush in my collection. I don't know whether I can bring myself to use it or not, but I guess we will see. But it is so cute. I know there has been various shops and things have done Winnie the Pooh hairbrushes before. But I've never seen this one before. But yeah, as I said, my parents, I don't know where they got it from. They went on holiday to France for the week and this was one of the things they got for me. Winnie the Pooh hairbrush. Next up, I think we will do a lounge fly. I think you'll all know which one is coming. This was gifted to me. This was something I worked with on the brand. This isn't something I brought. However, if you have watched the unboxing video for this, you'll know how much I am genuinely in love with this bag. If the company hadn't have gifted it to me, I would have brought it. Before they talked about working with me on it, I was already planning on buying it. So don't think I'm just including this in this video because they gifted it to me. I just genuinely love the bag. If they didn't gift it to me, I was going to buy it anyway. And that is the Winnie the Pooh and Friends Stargazing Loungefly. It was exclusive to Truffle Shuffle in the EMEA region. And as I said, they did very kindly gift it to me. And in case you haven't seen the unboxing for it, I will just show you the very key feature of the bag. Although I am filming this in bright daylight so you're not going to be able to fully see but inside the bag on the lining there is this battery pack and once you switch it on i don't know how well you're going to see this and i don't think shutting my curtains and turning the light off is going to do anything because it's midday you can kind of see there the fireflies light up obviously when it's dark it has a better effect so as i said if you haven't seen that unboxing video i recommend you go and watch that because you can see a better effect of how they light up but you can kind of see there how they light up so yeah this is the first like light up feature i have had on a bag in my collection obviously i've got loads of like glow in the dark elements and stuff like that but this is the first one with like actually a battery pack in it that i've had and i just thought that was so cool this was originally released as an american exclusive earlier this year i think and i want to say it was a box lunch exclusive but then it did very but then it did come over here to Truffle Shuffle and they very kindly worked with me on it, which I am so grateful for because it is so cute. And just on the back, you have got Kanga and Roo. It is just so cute. And what just made it absolutely even more perfect was the fact that if you've seen the unboxing video, I have a dress of Pooh and Friends stargazing and I've had that just for absolutely years long before this was even released in America I've had that just for so long and so when I saw this bag got announced I was like it's absolutely perfect it was insane how perfect it went together so yeah I'm just so in love with this bag the light up features is just incredible and although this bag I received this bag in May end 
end of May. They contacted me mid-May. I received the bag like end of May and then it went on sale beginning of June. Though this isn't technically something I got in June, it got released in June. <laughs> And obviously I got it towards the end of May, so I've been loving it through June. So it's allowed to be in the June favorites. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I'll ever get over the light up features of this. It is just so cute. And I still need to sort out like a late night evening photo shoot outside in my stargazing dress and this bag. I, f I need to sort that out. See, I can't do it in my garden because I've got hedges and fencing and the photos won't look that good. I feel like I need to go. I've got like loads of fields around the back of my estate. A late night walk up to the fields, try and get some good setup somehow and get a nice night sky photo. I now feel like I'm setting my bar too high for this little photo shoot. My camera isn't that good, I just take all my photos on my Samsung Galaxy. I'm setting myself too high but I need to do some sort of cool photo with it and my dress. But yeah, fully obsessed. <laughs> I feel like you know this, what this next item is going to be. I feel like you could have predicted that this was going to be in my June favourites from as soon as you watched the unboxing for it and that is my Crocs. They're still the coolest thing I own. I feel like that is setting the bar very high but as I said in that video I have never owned a branded pair of Crocs. I've always owned dupes. My other pair that I show you are from Morrison's. These are the first actual branded Crocs I own and they are Winnie the Pooh and they are something that they got released in the American parks I think it was like last September or something. It was a while ago. And Shop Disney UK and Disneyland Paris just don't seem to sell Crocs and I don't know why. So because we just it's just something we don't sell over here, I just assumed we'd never get it. But they randomly dropped on the same day that Donald Duck's birthday collection dropped. No one talked about it, I noticed it. And I'm so happy I went on Shop Disney that day because otherwise I would not know. They're no longer on the website, they're sold out and no restock. So I'm so happy. I noticed them because I'm so obsessed. They just make me so happy to look at. I'm undecided if I want to wear them in the parks on my next Disney trip because so many people like recommend Crocs as park shoes and I see so many people in the parks wearing Crocs and I just I don't know. On a parks day I can do like 20k plus steps and I feel like I always need a good trainer for that ankle support and just general foot support. I I think even once you activate sports mode on a croc, I'm not sure how much support I'm gonna get. I don't know. If you've ever done a Disney park day in crocs, please let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comment section down below. I feel like they'd be cool to meet Pill in, but I just don't know how practical it would be to have a whole park day wearing them. And I don't really fancy taking change of shoes, so I don't know. I probably won't do it, but I'm still interested to hear if you wear crocs to the parks, how do you feel? obsessed love them best thing i own future merchandise that i buy in the future has a spa set high poo crocs how do you top this <laughs> and this is what you saw in my last video but i am just so excited about it this is from a partner company that i work with that I have a discount code for is in the description of all of my videos but this wasn't an ad or a collab or any of that it's just something that went on her shop and I loved and I, as I said I have got a discount code which I can use so obviously I used my discount code to buy it but you can use my discount code, anyone can use my discount code just wanted to put that out there this is from Little Emporium of Magic and it is a t-shirt that has Tigger in a safari outfit in front of the Tree of Life and it says Tigger is that you? And at the bottom it says Disney's Animal Kingdom. As I said in the try on haul for this, this is a rework of a old vintage design that was available in the parks years ago and the t-shirts are very now hard to come by so Amy was able to get hold of a rework design of it and it is so cute. I did kind of tease it in uh, the last video and I'll just tease it again here. Two videos time, so not the next video, the video after that is that very exciting vlog that I was talking about where I will be able to wear this. Honestly, I'm very excited to take you on this adventure with me. So this is your clue, but it's not Animal Kingdom. There is no flights involved. <laughs> that is your clue. And your reminder to ding the vacation bell because you don't want to miss it. It's very exciting, I'm very excited. So yeah, the Tigger Is That You t-shirt is my fourth favorite item 
of the month of June. And just a quick little reminder, I am a brand affiliate for this shop. This t-shirt was not an ad, but I absolutely love it. Discount code in the description down below. So yeah, those are my four top favorite Winnie the Pooh items for the month of June. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Did you get any new merchandise or anything that you absolutely loved during the month of June? Do let me know in the comment section down below what have you been loving recently? And let me know what was your favorite out of my top four for the month. Was it the hairbrush, the lounge light, the Crocs, or the t-shirt? Do let me know in the comment section. Whatever you guys have got planned for July, I hope you have a magical month. As I said, we have got some very exciting videos coming up on the channel really soon. So make sure to subscribe down below and ding the notification bell so you are here for all of our magical adventures coming up. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.